So what was it? Why were you? Why did you guys call me over here? What was this all about? What was the, the event? Today? The event today was the celebration of um, finishing the third graders' first project. They'd spent the last ten or so weeks studying perspectives, why perspectives exist, um, what makes different perspectives, and how we can change other people's perspective. The idea that we all have our own, the idea that everybody has a different one, and why it's important to even think about that. And this is why we use green screen, because it's about being a news reporter. When something that's green will appear, but when something that's not green, this will what it happens. Each child has chosen their own topic, and they're working with a team. And in those teams, they designed an experience or an activity for fourth and fifth graders to do. We definitely, as teachers, guided them to choose topics that could potentially be either controversial or that people might have a lot of preconceived notions about so that there's something useful or valuable in changing other people's perspectives about that. Some people chose popular celebrities like Lionel Messi. Some people chose to study disabilities, vision impaired, hearing impaired, and what it's like to live as someone with those disabilities. Um, some groups even chose to focus on jobs such as elementary teachers or um, SSIS gardeners or SSIS security guards so that people could change their perspectives on individuals who they encounter on a daily basis. I think that was the most challenging thing, moving the kids beyond the idea of a presentation that they're doing and into this um, concept of designing an activity or designing an experience. It's one thing to stand in front of someone and teach them about being vision impaired or teach them about um, being a scientist, but to actually experience it is what we think is the true nature of stepping into someone else's shoes. They have to go through the maze, they have to find their own baby animal. Each of them have to find their specific animal. Like if one is a polar bear and they find a koala, that's the wrong one. Each um, visitor had to fill out two charts. So before they did the activity, they had to write down what they know about this topic or what they think about this topic. So we were trying to draw out people's preconceived notions about things. And then after they did the activity, they were asked to write down what their new understandings were. What we hoped our students would be able to see was a different perspective in each of those two charts that clearly showed that they were able to change other people's minds about something. It wasn't easy. I mean, it was, it, there was lots of challenges and a few roadblocks and the kids were really proud of themselves and also some of them surprised themselves, I think. There was one particular group that came up to me partway through the celebration today and said, everyone's really enjoying the activity, Ms. Rutger. And I said, yeah, well, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs>